it's the season. <laughs> Hello friends, I'm sitting on the floor as you do. I definitely don't have any chairs or things like that in my room, so that's that's a hallucination. That's not actually there. But sometimes sitting on the floor is nice, you know? What's up? It's Halloween time. For me, it's been Halloween time since the start of September, and no, that's not too early. September is spooky season. What is my hair doing? And also this... I once again completely forgot how to make these videos. I haven't said hello in a while. Okay, okay, one last try and it, that you now just have to live with this. I don't care. But yeah, I haven't said hello in a while. That's due to multiple reasons. The main one being I'm not very good at organizing things, but um, yeah, I'm still here. And I thought Halloween is the perfect time to, to get back into the, the routine of video making because I really like making videos. I'm just not good at doing daily tasks. <laughs> but yeah, it's spooky time. It's spooky season. The leaves are starting to turn orange and yellow and my hair's still doing weird stuff. I'm in my spooky sweater that I made almost or maybe exactly a year ago. That's crazy. I've been doing this for over a year now and um, even though I'm really bad at sticking to a good upload schedule, lots of you are still here every video and I am just so thankful for it. You guys are amazing. So today I don't really have a craft today, but I just thought we could decorate my room together to get ready for the ghosts that will soon arrive. But we also we also need to talk about a craft because I still don't know what to do for Halloween this year. And I set myself a deadline. I need to decide this today and then I need to go for shopping for materials this week and then we can start making the costume next week and I will take you guys with me. And I also need to think of some costumes for my horses because we always celebrate Halloween at our stable and I need to dress up my horses. My friend said that one horse needs to be a spider so I think I'm going to do that but um, I have a second horse and I don't know what to do and I also don't know what to do for myself but um, yeah. First of all, decorating my room, I have a bunch of boxes and what's in these boxes? Um, yeah, Christmas stuff but I also have some Halloween stuff and some fall stuff. We got candles and also some there are some mushrooms in here i don't know why but i have these they're tiny some fairy lights and some other stuff i am i am so excited to finally get all of these things out and put them all around my room i kind of cleaned my room a little bit for you but it's still messy so don't mind that because i have too much stuff there's always some i have some yarn laying around that i don't know where to put and i have too much arts and craft things that i don't know where to put but yes um I need to get up. Oh god, I'm also a little bit sick, so um, I don't feel that sick. My energy levels are just a bit down, and I also I, I sound a little bit sick. But that's fine because we just need to. We just are doing some decorating today. <laughs> Help me! What am I doing? Okay, okay, let's get up. Okay, one thing I already did is because my friends and I we went to like a. It's kind of like a dollar store, but not really. But there's like a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know. And I bought these. <laughs> and I put them all around my room and I had way too much fun. We got three in my bookshelf and then one right here and my favorite one, this guy. He's watching me work. Sometimes I feel like I'm a zookeeper and also the zoo animal. I'm a zookeeper for myself and I give myself enrichment items. Yes, all right. Um, box haul? Box haul. We need to separate the Halloween stuff from the Christmas stuff because it's not Christmas season yet. I already see a bunch of Christmas stuff in, in the supermarkets and I'm not ready for it. I know some people will eat all the Christmas food thingies as soon as they're in the store, but no, that's illegal. Don't do that. It's spooky season. Time for the spooks. Okay, we need everything that's, that's spooky, that's scary, that's fall vibes. Yes, some pumpkins. We want that. Ooh, also, look at this. My phone is on. Don't mind that. And there's also my... Okay, we are not talking about that. We are, we are talking about this. Look at this wonderful tapestry. I love this so much. This is not an ad. I just really like it. But it's from, from these guys on Instagram. They live in a van and they, they designed this. I've been wanting to have this for a while and then I got it for my birthday this year. And I'm obsessed. Okay, there are also some, some mushrooms on there. So this counts as fall vibes. We are going to leave this there. What else? We need the little shrooms. Yes, definitely. These? Okay, I think these are fitting for Christmas and, and fall. We can take them up my little ghost definitely we need him that's christmas oh bro oh no oh oh 
Okay, I'm sorry, my friend. You got caught in spider boy. I shouldn't have. I, I definitely shouldn't have just stuffed this into this box. There's also a vacuum cleaner right there because we are going to need this, but... um, uh, Oh, God. Okay. Oh, there are some plastic spiders in here and I hate it. I'm very much afraid of spiders. I respect spiders because I know they're very important for the ecosystem and they are kind of cool, but I'm also very terrified of them and sometimes even these uh, plastic spiders are too much for me. <laughs> Oh, oh no, okay, okay, we got a pumpkin and some spider webs. This, um, okay, that's that, that belongs to that, and some ghosts, and yes, my boxes are organized. I take no criticism, don't criticize me. I'm criticizing myself enough for this. Okay, this is Christmas, and that's, that's all. Okay, I got one more box. Oh my god, yes, candles that I never use, because look at, look how cute they are. That, that is my problem with candles. I love candles, but I don't want to use them, because when I use them, then they are gone. Look. <laughs> okay, I think we also need all of this. That concludes the tour of my very organized box. And now it's time for decorating the rooms. Oh, and I also I have to tell you some sad news. It has something to do with these little guys because our little orange birdie passed away a few weeks ago. She was the the reason why we owned birds in the first place because she just appeared in our garden one day. She spawned there, I think. I don't know. She was like, "What's up?" I'm not a native species to these lands, but I am here. And we tried to catch her and we couldn't. And then in the evening, she flew into my neighbor's home and fell asleep on their wardrobe. <laughs> and then the next day, I think we picked her up from our neighbors and we do this shelter that we found a bird, but that we would keep her if no one, no one misses her. And no one ever came looking for her. So we just kept her and then we adopted some, some more from the shelter and, uh, yeah, a few weeks ago she passed away and then we were left with one little birdie. This guy, say hello. You know him. He likes to say, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I know I'm very scary. But this is the one that always sings in my videos. He's tiny. But then he was alone and that's not, not great for them. So we adopted another one from the shelter and she's right over there. Yes, this is our new family member. She likes to eat very messy. Very, very messy. I technically would have to vacuum my room twice a day now because all the, the food will just end up on my floor. Thanks for that, little bird. I, I still love you. Yeah. Those are some, some news from the past few weeks, months, for however long I haven't said hi. Um, some sad news, but also we got a new family member and that's that's always exciting. We love her very much. They are not the best best friends yet, but <laughs> they are starting to get along. So I think it will be fine. Now I need to figure out where to put you guys because there, that's spring and summer stuff. That needs to go. And then we need to put some pumpkins up there or something like that. POV, you up. You are a book in my bookshelf. My microphone is not wireless and I'm already falling. If I fall, you guys will fall too. I'm taking you down with me. You need to go. Hot girl summer is over. It's time for spooky... I, I don't know, alliterations. Maybe there? Okay, you can't even see. But it's up there now. I will show you in a second because I also want to put something up here and I probably don't have enough batteries because every year I buy new string lights and I have like a billion by now and they're all battery powered so <laughs> that's probably not very great for the environment. I should rethink my actions but I have them now so let's put them up. Hit the ghosties! You will haunt my paintings now. Not my paintings. I am not Caspar David Friedrich. I didn't paint this one. It's just a poster that I bought from a museum. Scary. These are all my friends. Should I ever talk about my friends in videos? I mean them. Okay, this is very much not my usual content, but maybe you, you enjoy this too, because then maybe I'll make some more. I don't even know what this is. I'm just like cleaning my room and decorating it. Chill. And you guys have to watch me. But you also get to see some skeletons. Riding an Ikea horse. So I think it's worth it. All right, next up, my bed. Okay, this is one thing I do every year. And I'm going to take these and put them up there. There's an Ikea alien. Speaking of Ikea, last year Ikea had like a bunch of, of really great spooky Halloween stuff. They had a ghost blanket. I love this ghost blanket. But which country, of course, didn't have the ghost blanket? Right, Germany. It 
was not available here, which I am still mad about. But I thought, okay, lots of people were telling dear IKEA that they love this ghost blanket and that they would like to have some, some more Halloween things here too. So I thought, okay, surely they will learn from it. Did they? No. IKEA already has some, some Halloween things, but they don't have the good the good stuff, I think. Or maybe they do now. I haven't checked in a while. I, this is this is very important. I need to Google this right now because if they have the ghost blanket, then I'm driving to Ikea today. Or maybe not because my the car needs to get fixed. But once my car is fixed, I'm going to go on a trip to Ikea and buy like all the Halloween stuff they have. Okay, it's not the ghost blanket, but I don't even think this is a Halloween item. But this pillow looks like a pumpkin. So maybe I need that. I don't want it. I need it. No ghost blanket. Why? When will you learn? Come on! Yeah, it's available in the US, who would have thought? <laughs> oh no! <gasps> See? My life is falling apart because I can't get hold of the ghost blanket. This wouldn't have happened, Ikea, if I could buy- if I could buy the blanket. Oh my god. Okay, okay, let's fix this. This is the downside of putting, like, way too many lights on your bed because they will fall. All right, now I just need to not touch this ever and then that's fine. Bed done. I, there's no more space for any more spooky stuff. There would be space for a ghost blanket though, Ikea, are you listening? This German craves Ikea spooky things. Go put them in your stores. I, I will buy all of it. Okay, next up, let's do my bookshelf. I'll show you a close-up at the end, but we got some spiders living in there now and I just need I just um, need to hope that I don't need to touch these books the next month because I'm just not going to do it. That's too much work. All right, lights. And I'm just realizing that I'm pretty sure I'm missing lots and lots of string lights. I know that I have more. Okay, let's do this next. The lighting is going to be very bad because there's my window directly behind it. So it's going to be back at this entire time. Yippee! I always decorate this differently depending on which season it is. At least for spooky season and winter because during spring and summer I have mostly vegetables and stuff on there. The lighting is so awesome. We once again need to get rid of the flowers. Because summer is over already. No more. My cat is screaming. Hello. Hello. What's what's your opinion on the current economic state? Uh, all right. Yeah. That's that's valid. You can't go in there, I'm sorry. There's no, no room for you. I'm sorry. Tiny lady, little lady. Why are we always screaming? Okay, we, we are just going to let her do her thing. Let's get to work on this. Hi. Nicht meine Weihnachtssachen essen, bitte. Danke. Auch bitte nicht mein Kabel essen. Ist uns langweilig. Ja, da ist ein Kabel im Weg. Do you like this perspective? I think it's very... I think all the videos should, should look like this from now on. By the way, the reason... One of the reasons why I'm... I haven't said hello in a while is because, well, I, I told you that I'm not very good at organizing things and I've been starting my own small business this year, which is nice. That's one thing I've been wanting to do to do for a while, but I, I'm from the country of bureaucratic hell. If you want to scare a German kid, you just tell them stories of the Finanzamt and the Gewerbeamt and all the other Ämter that are out there. But I think I've got it now. So um, now I've got some more time for doing things like this. Okay, clean, good. Now we need to put a bunch of pumpkins on there. Oh, but before I do that, let me show you this. It's spooky yarn. Oh my God, look, look, it's Halloween yarn. I want to do like a spider web mesh top 
with this. Ooh, and then I also, I found this, um, I'm kind of obsessed with these things. I had to buy it. And then I also found these. It's pumpkins and leaves. Okay, I'm very easily excited. Uh, let's get back to the task. This is broken. He's fine. Don't worry about him. Okay, that's all the spooky stuff from, from my boxes. This, this, uh, I want to hang this up in front of my window, but I'm too small, so I need to ask someone who's taller than me. I definitely have more spooky stuff, but I need go, don't need to go look for these because I don't know where all my things are. But I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'm going to decorate the rest of my room also off camera because as of now, I still haven't found the people who asked and I've already talked enough nonsense for a day. And I already know that I'm going to hate myself while editing this because I've been talking so much, but uh, this is what I do. Yes, I'm actually a very quiet person, but I also do like to talk a lot of nonsense. I'm going to show you the reveal at the very end, but for now, we've got one more important task, and that is my Halloween costume. I, I need one, and I need an idea quick, because the, uh, I still need to make it. Okay, brainstorming time. Okay, I have made a list of movies and shows and games that I like and I'm uh, thought of characters that I could dress up as, but none of them made sense to me. So I scratched these ideas and then I started to look for, for new ones. And I thought, may, hey, maybe there's a, a great urban legend that I can do. So I googled urban legend creatures and the first result that came up was this little graph with different little urban creatures. And one of them is the Kentucky Goblin. What the fuck is the Kentucky Goblin? Kentucky, what is happening? W what are you guys doing? I, I like urban legends and little creatures, but I have never heard of the Kentucky Goblin before. <laughs> He's just a little guy. What the hell? Okay, but also it's not really anything there. So I need to do some more thinking. Okay, I think I have an idea. And that is, I'm going to vanish. Just kidding, I'm back. Um, my idea is to do like a kind of mixture out of scary deer, spirit creature, ghost and grim reaper. Yeah, because I kind of want to do something with antlers. I don't know how I'm, how I'm going to make antlers, but that's a problem for another day. For, but I just thought it would be cool to have like a costume with some scary looking antlers and then you can dangle little lights and moss and stuff like that from there and then I think that looks very scary. So th that's kind of the the centerpiece of the costume and I'm going to plan everything else around it and that's what I'm going for. Scary deer creature ghost grim reaper. The centerpiece is supposed to be a deer skull. How does that look? I'm uh, not going to go put a real deer skull on top of my head even though you probably could get one from your local hunters or whatever, but I think I'd be sad if I would have a dead deer on top of my head. So I'm instead going to attempt to craft one. Don't know how, but um, uh, I did manage to make the Krumpelstilzen shoes. So ever since then, I am a little too confident in my abilities. Uh, yeah, okay. So we got a, a fake deer skull that I don't know where to get or how to make and most importantly the antlers there's an arm missing and then i also want again way too confident in my own abilities but what i think would be cool to have some led lights in the eyes either in blue or red because i think that could be scary then maybe some some lights hanging from the antlers and also some moss and then also
hood. This is going to sit on my head and my head is going to be covered in a hood because I don't want my face to be too visible. I still want to be able to breathe and communicate with my friends and not have like an annoying mask on the entire day. But I think it's scarier if this right here. Oh, okay. Maybe it's scary if this is visible the entire time, but I think it it look a lot better if this wasn't. So hood to cover kind of my face, then fake deer skull with endless on top of my head, and then I hopefully look scary. Rest of the costume, I thought maybe like a hooded cape, and then maybe a weapon, and uh, something made out of the fabric that you put like potatoes in and stuff. But I think I got an idea now, that's nice, because it's not October yet, but I know myself and uh, I kind of want to put like a little effort in this. So we have a plan. That's nice. That means I'm now going to finish decorating my room and then I'm going to show you the end result of, of all the decorating I've done today. And then I will see you guys in, in the next videos because spooky t spooky time is here, spooky season is here and I'm I need to make some spooky crafts. If I don't, then I will be haunted. So. Uh, yeah, I still have my spooky yarn. I need to make the costume. I have another spooky crochet thing that I want to make. So you will you will see this face more often from now on. Again, congratulations. All right, here's my room. And then I will see you guys again next time. Stay tuned.